We have new pictures just into our newsroom, which give you an even closer look at the damage and the work to clean up the mess left behind by the fallen crane. These photos shared by Governor Cuomo's office. Now there, you can see the extensive damage to the bridge's guardrails and the edges of the bridge, that concrete. All that's left, a huge gap, debris, and some twisted metal. Now, even though the crane missed hitting any cars that were driving across around noontime today, there were at least five minor injuries, two bridge workers, and three people inside cars that crashed while trying to avoid the falling boom. CBS 2's Jessica Layton spoke to a man who watched the red boom fall right in front of his car. And Jessica is live in Terrytown for us. What did he say? Well, some really scary moments for him, Dana. Malam Arana says that he was driving over the Tappan Zee like he does all the time. Today, he was heading to the gym when he saw that crane come crashing down right in front of him with no warning at all. Very lucky and a little bit like shaken up. Balam Arana can't believe he was able to drive away from what could have been such a tragedy without a single scratch on his car or him. It was a lot of chaos, a lot of crashing, a lot, lot of metal everywhere. At first, the Ossining man thought he was witnessing a fender bender. He swerved left on the Tappan Zee Bridge and was shocked to see why those cars in front of him were forced to stop short. The crane started to come down. It was very slow in the beginning, but then it just crashed right across the bridge. Feet away from the crane sprawled across all lanes of the bridge he drives over almost every day. He took out his cell phone to capture the chaos. And in a much more relaxing moment, we were there as he embraced his long Longtime partner for the first time after that near miss. Um, I'm kind of thankful today. Yeah, I'm kind of thankful and, and glad I have gratitude that he's that he's safe. First responder Lawrence Mora rode in the ambulance with one of the injured women, and he can't believe everyone's going to be okay. It's a good day. It's a good day. Thank God the crane didn't uh, actually fall on top of any cars. In a world where timing can be everything, Balamarana is counting his blessings. Just to know that it could have been me was a matter of seconds. And counting the days until construction here is done. And again, authorities telling us at this hour they believe five people were injured, but thankfully and quite amazingly, nobody seriously hurt in this crane collapse. We're live in Terrytown tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.